Our former President Barack Obama once said, to truly transform our economy, protect our security, and save our planet from the ravages of climate change, we need to ultimately make clean renewable energy. Our names are Aiden, Nick, and Zach, and we would like to tell you about our project idea. It might not be huge and large scale, but it will be beneficial and motivate others to follow. Because if they see what just a bunch of 8th graders are doing for the environment, then they will be motivated to act themselves. As you probably already know, the Earth is rapidly warming up due to greenhouse glass gases being trapped in the atmosphere, making it so the sun's rays do not escape as easy. This is causing drastic changes in the climate and environment. We humans can help slow this down by using natural renewable energies such as wind power, hydraulic power, and solar power. Because these don't leave a carbon footprint, they just conduct electricity from natural resources. We believe that hydraulic power can benefit the town of Burke multiple ways and can efficiently and effectively save the amount of power citizens use each day. One way that hydraulic energy could benefit Burke is that it could, will be more affordable because it's free energy the river provides. Another way that hydraulic power could benefit Burke is that it, if it proves to be extremely beneficial, then it presents new possibilities. Our idea is that if we would run some of, lo of a local ice cream shop's lights and freezers by building a small hydraulic water wheel in the neighboring river, we found that it could help power multiple LED lights, regular lights, or even small freezers. We plan to take two wooden wheels, each three feet in diameter, and evenly place 16 five and a half inch wide paddles between them so that when the water hits the paddles on the wheel, it will turn on an axis. As the wheel rotates, it will be rotating another one foot in diameter wheel that is connected to a seven foot belt that is attached to a six and a half inch wheel, or six inch wheel as the bigger wheel catching the water turns all the wheels spin that are connected to the belt as the smallest wheel rotates it will be connected to a generator. The town of Burke uses 1,580,585 kilowatts a day. An average American household uses about 911 kilowatt hours a month which costs about $114. By building this water wheel Ruby Lees and Burke will be saving around 152 watts per day, which will add up to a lot of power over a saved period of time. Overall, by building this water wheel, Ruby Lee's business will be saving a sufficient amount of money by using water to conduct electricity, as we said earlier. We'll save more than 150 watts a day, thus saving more money on electricity. If you, More town buildings in Burke that are surrounded by creeks and rivers built water wheels for power parts, or even their entire buildings, the town of Burke would not have to spend as much money to power their buildings. Hopefully if this works and people take notice, then it will cause a difference and things will start to change slightly. If not, then we keep going about our life pretending our earth is not in peril. Also, if Iceland can run 100% of its electrics on renewables, then why can't we?